What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock because a lot of people have been talking about where AMC can actually squeeze to. And I know there's been a lot of disagreements on where the price brackets actually are. So I want to give you guys my opinion on this matter. I want to tell you guys about what I think is actually the case and where do I think AMC could squeeze to and what are the risks associated with particular prices. Now, before I say anything about AMC, I do have to mention some very important things first. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner so please don't take this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this and not only benefits me but benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the moomoo link down below in the description if you do sign up for moomoo and deposit hundred dollars you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks each with up to three thousand five hundred dollars but you're also going to have the opportunity to win up to two hundred thousand dollars as moomoo's giving away two hundred grand for the new year so if you want a chance to win two hundred thousand dollars guys check out the link down below deposit $100 to get your chance and you will have your chance with that out of the way guys let's get on with the video so this is AMC's share price right as you guys can see like the uh, logarithmic scale is like all over the place right now and I'm not necessarily trying to tell you guys that this is what the chart is going to look like in the future right and maybe one day we're going to see AMC run to the absolute moon but I don't know exactly what price it's going to go to so guys remember a lot of people out there are giving you guys prices saying AMC will go to 10,000 100,000 a million the truth is no one truly knows that okay we don't truly know that I do believe AMC has the potential to squeeze to thousands of dollars a share right we know it has the potential and we know that based off circumstances it's extremely extremely probable we're going to see that but the thing is no one truly knows so if someone on on you YouTube says, oh, AMC will squeeze to $5,000. They don't truly know that, guys. No matter how credible you think they may be, they don't truly know that. If someone says it's going to squeeze to $10,000, they don't truly know that. If they say a million, they don't truly know that. But the thing about that is, here's the way I see the AMC squeeze. So take this chart with a grain of salt. This is just a hypothetical scenario. I'm not saying it's going to happen during this time. I do believe it's going to happen in the future. I just don't know the exact date, but this is just an example, right? Let's just pretend AMC started to squeeze and it went to the absolute moon. Well, where may it end up going? And there's actually going to be a risk associated with every single one of the price uh, brackets. And I made a video about this, I think a couple of days ago, about maybe a week and a half ago. And my, you know, my stance has not changed, guys. I'm still holding the same stance I have. Because if you go right here, let me zoom in. Hold on. Let me try to go like this. So from the way I see it, guys, the low to medium risk is anything between zero and $2,000 a share. I believe each of those are very, very feasible and possible for AMC. And it's not going to be too difficult for us to get there or extremely difficult because the thing is the shorts have to cover. But then the, another thing you have to look at is the market cap. Now, you could use many different normal distributions to look at how, you know, this could end up playing out. But the thing about that is, look, even if every share went to this price, even at 2000 AMC's market cap would be just a little bit under or like around a trillion dollars. And that's definitely possible. It's not going to crash the market. And the thing is, the thing is about that price, some people are speculating that it may be a controlled squeeze too. And that could be a target for it. And even if that's the case, guys, you have to remember it, it doesn't, we don't truly know where it's going to go, but that's definitely possible. It's realistic. It's possible. So to me, if you, are holding for a price like that that's totally fine no one's going to hate you for it and it is realistic to say something like that now what about two to five thousand dollars this is where things get a little bit more riskier i would say the risk is on the medium level because then, then that's when amc will reach a multi-trillion dollar market cap and if we do go that high guys which i still think is very possible if we go that high it's going to be very awesome for us. Obviously, we're going to get a lot of attendees. But on top of that, guys, on top of that, if we go that high, the question is, OK, you have to think about what's the opportunity cost of something like that happening. How are institutions going to react? How is the Fed going to react? How is the SEC going to react? The thing is, we don't truly know what, what they're thinking, what their plan is, because there are going to be lots of trade halts, right? There are going to be crazy things like that that could cause or it's possible for it to cause AMC to maybe like fluctuate more, maybe drop a little bit. So that's where the risk gets a little bit higher. So you guys have to remember that. That's why I'm talking about how it's a medium risk level. Maybe it's not going to be too bad, but it is still a risk you guys have to remember. Then when it comes to the high risk, that would be anything between, I would say, five to ten thousand. I think I, I did this backwards. Hold on. Hold on one second. But you guys get my point, right? Anything between five and 10,000. 
that to me would is how I would see this as a high risk play because from there that's when things get a little bit trickier. That's when there's there could be a lack of liquidity. That's when things could become very very difficult for the shorts to start covering. Maybe reach the money. Then the question is, what's the Fed going to do? Are they going to have to print more money? Are they going to start halting? people from being able to trade AMC. We don't truly know what they're going to do. We don't know what the SEC is going to do once we get to those really, really high levels. Because at the end of the day, guys, they don't want our economy to crash because of this. And I'm really going there, guys, because this is going to be massive, right? This is not like some kind of, you know, game. This isn't preschool, guys. This is us actually dealing with these multi-billion dollar institutions it's something that's going to be huge and we've never seen anything like that before now once we get to 10,000 to 25,000 that's also very very possible now if we do go that high guys that's where it becomes very very risky at that point we don't know what's going to happen once we get to that point we don't know if i don't know if people start selling lots of apes may start selling they're causing it to drop we don't know if the SEC is going to do something crazy. We we don't know that. And then anything above 25,000 is where it becomes extremely risky. So here's here's the reason why I'm telling you about you know how risky it would be. And the reason why I'm saying this is because you guys have to come up with a sell strategy on your own. So if you're holding all your shares, believing that, oh, once AMC goes to 100,000, I'll be selling there. The problem with that is what if we squeeze to 90,000? And then we drop and you, you didn't sell on the way up, for example, because no one truly knows all these people on YouTube, on Reddit saying it'll go to 100,000, it'll go to 500,000, the floor is 500,000. Yeah, maybe, maybe you could be right, but we don't truly know that. So is it really intelligent to take that risk? It's really up to you, right? Your own money, you do what you want. But I want to at least inform you and let you know that if you do hold it to levels like that, it's going to become extremely risky. And the longer you do it, the longer you hold, the riskier it's going to become. So you have to be very, very patient and be very, very care careful. So that's why a lot of people talk about selling on the way up. Because if you sell on the way down, who's going to buy your shares on the way down? It's very probable that it's going to be difficult to get them executed. And it could be really tough, guys. So that's why a lot of people talk about how they're, they're choosing kind of like smaller brackets or they're just selling on the way up. So they sell a little bit by little by little on the way up slowly. So they slowly get at least some gains secured. Or, I mean, you could just sell everything at once, however you guys want. It's really up to you. It's really up to you, okay? But my, my intention right now is just to inform you that my brackets are the same, guys. Even though there are other people out there that may have said otherwise. And... The thing is, you have to remember that they don't truly know. And I don't truly know where it's going to go. But based off what's possible, right? All these numbers are possible. I believe that you have to be well aware of what the risks are. It's less probable for us to go this high because it's extremely risky. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. It is possible. But these are just the way I see the risks. And I really hope that you know, I, I, I helped bring value into your guys' life. I hope I helped provide more insight. And that's basically what I have for this one. So AMC is looking bullish. If I bring up the chart right now, let me bring it up. It still looks very, very bullish. We're on this falling wedge. Once we break out of it, it's going to be a big move. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to lead us to the MOAS, guys. This was just an example. This real chart can be moved like way, way out there. This could maybe take months for us to actually get to like where we are. When it comes to the squeeze, it could take much longer. But like I said before, guys, take it with a grain of salt. This is just a hypothetical example. I don't know when the MOAS is going to start, whether it takes a couple of weeks or a few months or a year from now. I don't know. All I know is that that's why you have to just buy, hold, and wait it out. Because eventually, I believe we will be rewarded. That's what I have for this one, guys. I'm super, super bullish for AMC. Nothing has changed. And please, please, please be very careful, guys. Be very careful and be well aware of what the risks are. I thank you and I'll see you in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.